Matt here with Mobile Solar Consulting. Today, we're gonna to help you choose between a 24 to 12 volt charger or a 24 to 12 volt converter. Same thing will apply for a 48 to 12 as well. So here we have the 24 to 12 volt 70 amp converter. This does not have three stage charging. It does not have Bluetooth. It does not allow you to adjust the voltage output besides using the potentiometer, which is a very, very small little white dial down here. It's pretty hard to use to be honest. So for the most part, this is recommended when you have 12 volt loads and no 12 volt battery. So you're gonna take energy from your 24 volt battery bank and power your 12 volt loads and you're not gonna keep a 12 volt battery at all. This should work very well for that. This will not work very well if you're powering a super heavy 12 volt load such as starting a generator, running a 12 volt air conditioner, or maybe using a hydraulic jack on your RV. Definitely not a winch or a thruster on a boat. Now, if you do have a 12 volt battery in your RV or in your boat that you wanna charge from your 24 volt bank, this is the way to go. If 30 amps is enough, then the Orion TR Smart is a great choice. Otherwise, the XS1400 has the same capability. The reason I recommend a charger and not just a converter is because you can have that three stage charging. You can have bulk, absorb, and float and it's gonna properly treat your battery bank as it needs to be treated. Now, a lot of RV owners make the argument, what about the converter that came with my RV? Is that designed to charge my batteries? Is that any different from this? The answer is no, it's not really any different from this, and honestly, it's not designed to charge a battery perfectly. It's designed to make sure you never run out of energy to power your 12 volt appliances, and to keep your battery from being empty, but it's still not gonna give your battery the three-stage charge that it really wants. So for those of you looking at 48 volt chargers and converters that go down to 12 volt, Victron has a 48 to 12 volt smart charger. That's 30 amps of output as well, so 360 watts. And they also have converters, but they're not very high powered. At the moment, Victron only has 30 amp converters. So again, 360 watt converters. They're shaped just like this. Uh, they just don't have smarts inside of them. So again, converter or charger, same profile at 48 volts, 30 amps for either one. The converter is going to be a little bit cheaper and you're going to usually have to stack several of them to power your loads because it's not often that you have 12 volt loads, but only 30 amps worth. Uh, many times we see people stacking two to three of those converters. So if you have a 48 volt system, that is one of those reasons why at the moment you might wanna keep a 12 volt battery and use a single DC to DC charger to keep that battery topped off and then use the battery to power any loads anytime they exceed 30 amps. We'll link all the products we talked about today in the description on this video. Also, if you're thinking about using one of these Orion chargers, uh, do recognize they get quite hot and we've done some more temperature testing in depth as to whether you need a fan or not and how hot they really do get so you can watch the next video here.